Now I am going to teach you the continuous random variable. Continuous random variable. A random variable a random variable which takes all the possible values all the possible values in a given interval in a given interval is called continuous random variable see in continuous random variable the word in a given interval is very very important usually the students will write a random variable which takes all the possible values is called the continuous random variable that is wrong you should write it as in a given interval which is very very important word so what is the difference between the discrete and the continuous random variable for discrete it takes the values only on the set whatever the values that is present only on the set it will take for continuous random variable it will take all the possible values in a given interval same thing here also we we have some of the conditions that is probability density function probability density function the probability density function the probability density function for continuous random variable x satisfies the following x in a given interval satisfies the following condition the same way as we did it for probability mass function here also we have two conditions here number 1 f of x should be greater than or equal to 0 number 2 integral minus infinity to infinity f of x into dx is equals to 1 so here what is the conditions f of x should be greater than or equal to 0 integral minus infinity to infinity f of x into dx is equals to 1 so they in the question they will ask you they will ask you to verify whether the given function is a pdf or not what do you mean by pdf probability density function or not if the answer is equal to 1 then it is verified it is a probability density function if it is not equal to 1 then it is not a probability density function i'll show you the example verify the probability density function and they will give you the f of x along with the interval which is very very important in continuous random variable along with the interval they will give you the function example verify the function
verify the function f of x is equals to 2x 4 minus 2x between the interval 0 less than x less than 1 and here 1 less than x less than 2 and 0 x greater than 2 is a PDF or not that is probability density function or not. First step always you have to write the formula and then only you will go for the substitution which is very very important because for formula you will get one mark. Now solution. The probability density function is given by integral minus infinity to infinity f of x dx is equals to 1. We need to prove that whether this given function is equal to 1 or not. Now look at this they have given the limits 0 less than x less than 1, 1 less than x less than 2 and x greater than 2. In that case you will write it as integral 0 to infinity f of x into dx because you can see that where does it start 0 to x greater than 2 means it goes on 2 to infinity. So which is equals to integral 0 to 1 f of x dx first you need to differentiate the limits and show it you have to show it along with the intervals 1 to 2 f of x into dx plus 2 to infinity into f of x dx after splitting like this in a given interval then you will move on to the substitution part integral 0 to 1 f of x is 2x into dx plus integral 1 to 2 4 minus 2x into dx plus integral 2 to infinity 0 into dx. Anyway this whole part will become 0. First when you integrate it you are going to integrate with respect to x. How will you integrate it? 2 into x square by 2 limits are 0 to 1 plus the next term is 4 into x. See there is a difference between differentiation and integration. In differentiation when you have got constant you will get it as 0. In integration for constant you will get it as 4 into integral of dx is x minus 2x square by 2. The limits will be 1 to 2. Now listen from this we can cancel this 2 and 2. Similarly here also 2 and 2. Upper limit minus lower limit. What is the upper limit here? 1. 1 minus lower limit is 0. Plus and here the upper limit is 2. 4 times 2 is 8, 8 minus 4, first I am substituting the upper limit for both the terms minus of 4 minus 1 which will give you 1 plus 4 minus 3 which is equals to 2. Now this is not equal to 1 therefore it is not a PDF. If it is equal to 1, if the solution is equal to 1, then we say that the given function is a probability density function.